Okay, welcome to our Thursday broadcast on internet marketing tonight. I'm Trevor and I'm going to be hosting. I was just telling all of you who are here live with me a minute ago that I get a lot of my talking points tonight uh, from this guy right here. Um, so I'm going to reference him and, and of course give credit where credit's, where credit's due. He's, uh, he's the, the CEO and founder of, uh, of Moz and on occasion will comment on the the state of search engine marketing and give different tips and tricks on things we can do to become better internet marketers. He shared something recently that I thought I would pass along and share with you guys. And and that's on some some different types of uh, myths that are out there about link building. So we it, in in internet marketing, especially as we're talking about trying to get rankings in a search engine, if you own a website and you're trying to get it found out there online, Part of that goal should be to rank well in Google or other search engines, right? Well, in order to do that, you have to get links. And and let's just be clear, just for those of you guys that maybe don't know as much about internet marketing, um, if I own a website, and I'm just going to draw this out, here's this is going to be my www.whatever.com, okay? This is my website right here, we'll say, Okay. If I'm going to get this website to rank well, I have to get a number of other websites, and I'm going to represent these by these little squares here from around the internet. I need to get them to link to me, okay? Because if I have these websites linking over to me, these act as votes. These count as, as ranking votes, we'll call them, and they tend to push my website higher up the search engine. They could be blogs. They could be forums. They could be news articles. They could be simply other e-commerce websites. They could be educational resources and websites. It doesn't matter what they are. As long as they're linking over to me, uh, that tends to be beneficial for my site, and it helps me rank better. So a lot of internet marketing that we discuss together collectively in these, in these Thursday night trainings revolves around this simple premise that links from other websites and other domains tend to help us rank better, okay? So that's where this so that's where my commentary comes tonight. If if you're not as familiar with link building strategies, that's okay. I mean, you can still stick around tonight and and I think you'll still learn a few things, but this is a bit more designed for you guys that have maybe been in link building before. You've been trying to get links back to your site and and over the years there's been many many link building myths that have been perpetuated that are completely and utterly not true in the year 2017. And so uh, Rand brought up a few that I think are worth commenting on. So I'm just going to make a little bulleted list here to make sure that these myths that are being peddled around the internet aren't actually seeping into some of your theory about link building. Okay. Myth number one, and I'm going to, I'll just type these out here. Um, myth number one that he he references is never get links from live directories. Okay, there's there there's there's some thought out there that a directory link is never good. Who who knows what a live directory is? Somebody comment on that for me uh who's here live with us tonight. What's a what's a directory or a live directory? You guys know what I'm talking about when I say that? It's a, it's a type of website. Okay, so it's one of these kinds of websites out here. We'll call this a, a live directory. There's many different ones. No, yeah, I, mean, I haven't commented on them for probably several months at least, and at least in this training. But anybody know? Any of you guys who've been with me for a while know what a live directory is? Sometimes they're just called directories. I'll show you one. Surely some of you guys have heard of this one right here. DMOZ, D-M-O-Z, DMOZ.org. Does this look familiar at all to anybody? One one of the distinguishing characteristics of a directory is that it looks like a, a sort of just a, a maybe a yellow pages or or um, it's a yellow it's, it's it's a directory so it's like a yellow pages for um, websites. It was kind of what was before internet, or, or sorry, not internet, but search engines were out there. These were used very prevalently. They're they're older now. They're not used as often. Um, 
but it, back in the day, people used to go and submit their sites to these directories. So I could go find like a category within DMOS here and I could submit my site to it. And, uh, and then they accept my site and I get listed there. Well, that counts as a link. And so back in the day, people used to submit uh, sites to directories like crazy and it would immediately propel them to the top of uh, search engines. And, and when I say like in, in mass quantity, we used to do it. I, I remember when I was first learning about internet marketing, I, I was doing some directory submissions for somebody else's website. And I, and I can't tell you how many hours I sat there, hour after hour after hour, and I submitted these sites to directories. Hundreds, if not thousands of directories over that period of time. And it was crazy because if you did that alone, like your site shot up towards the top of Google for certain keywords, it was great. But over time, that strategy stopped working to the point where it wasn't effective to just submit your site to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of directories and then automatically get huge rewards in Google. So the myth as of late has been perpetuated that you should never get links from directories, that it doesn't work anymore, and that's simply not true. There are still good quality directories out there, okay? So you should go out and get links from some of those directories. You shouldn't just say to yourself, this is an old strategy that doesn't work. There are good quality directories out there, and those, those directories need to have your site in them. So the myth is to never submit your site, but the, the truth is um, you, you really should submit your site to directories on occasion, okay? That's myth number one. Myth number two, um, how do I want to write? How do I want to write this? Oh, never get links too fast because you'll get penalized. Okay, so there's some thought out there online in the in the circle of internet marketers that if you launch your site and then you immediately go out and get lots and lots of links really fast. You do some blog commenting, you get some directories, you get found on forums, you get out there in Reddit. And you, anyway, you get all these links pointing back to your site very quickly that you could get penalized, that that could hurt your search engine rankings. That is a myth. It, it's founded on some truth because it, in, in years past, people used to pay money to essentially get you know, sort of like automated link generators that would go out there and just send a bunch of crappy links to your site. And that that's bad for your site. So I, I know some of you guys have contacted me over the years and said, hey, I, I found some deal where I can pay 15 bucks and get, get my site submitted and backlinks from 500 different places. And I will always tell you, no, don't do that. That'll hurt you, not help you. That's what that's referring to. But if you go out there or organically promote your site, and get links on your own, you, you can't get too many too fast if you're doing it the right way. So that is a myth. Don't worry about getting too many too fast if you're doing it the right way, okay? That's myth number two for us. Um, number three, I'm gonna just go on, I'm just gonna do this one fast. Um, never get links from sites that have a lower domain authority than you. Okay, so what? So what's domain authority? Um, domain authority is something we use with this tool right here. OpenSiteExplorer.com is what it's called. It's it's a tool you can use for free. I think you can use it a couple of times a day without having to pay for it. But you can put in a competitor's website right here. So we'll do like www. Uh, you know nike. com, and what this tool will do is it'll tell you the strength of the site, and and a lot of times the strength of the site is shown right here in domain and page authority, and so the the myth that's been perpetuated is you don't want to get links from sites that have lower domain authority than you, that that for some reason isn't helpful, and and we want to dispel that myth and say basically well well yes you most certainly can get links from lower domain authority sites. Domain authority is really just a measurement of how strong your site is in the eyes of Google. It is is a very simplified way of 
of explaining it. So if I'm Nike and I and I'm I believe in this myth, I would basically say if a site has anything less than a, a 91 domain authority, I don't want a link from it because it's not going to help me, and that's just not true. There's lots of links from lower domain authorities that would help Nike even more with their own. Okay. I won't spend much time on that. If that's confusing to you, we can talk more about domain authority later. Um, but that was one of the myths that he had brought up, so I thought I would share it with you guys. Okay, next one. And stop me if you've got any questions on, on some of these that we're going through. Um, so this is number four. Oh, yeah, this one's a funny one. I've had some of you guys bring this up before. Never link to other sites from your own. Okay. Meaning like, let's say on my website, I want to reference a, a, a Wikipedia article or a news article. The myth is that if you link out to somebody else from your site, that you're somehow hurting your own ranking. And and this is this is uh, rooted in some truth. Back in the day, there used to be some formulas that said, you know, if if you linked out to too many places, you would pass on some of your own rank to them, and that would hurt you. But you know, in, in the year 2017, that's just not an issue. So if you have a product page or you have an article on your affiliate site, and you feel it appropriate to link out to an educational site. You know, I, I know for me on my finance side, occasionally I would link out to something from the IRS or a study done from, uh, you know, Wharton Business School or, you know what I mean? I, I would link out to these credible sources and that never hurts me at all. In fact, that that strengthens my my credibility. And so so linking out to a credible source is never going to hurt you. So don't don't worry about linking out to places. That's not going to affect your your ranking negatively, okay? Questions on that, are we okay there? I think most of this stuff is pretty straightforward, but stop me if something doesn't make sense here. Ah, oh, this one. Um, never get, how do I wanna say this? I want to I want to start this with never, but I'm not sure how to do this. Never um, get unexact proportions. We'll say I shouldn't say unexact. I guess that's inexact. Whoops. Never get inexact um, proportions of links that come from different anchor text. Okay, so here's what I mean by this. That that statement's kind of confusing. So let me explain this a little bit better. You know how when you have a link, it a, a link, it, define a link for me. If you if you see a link like a text link on a site, how do you know it's a text link? Yeah, it's usually underlined a lot of times or the color is sometimes different. Like you roll your mouse over and it changes color sometimes, right? If if you see text on a site that says something like this, click here, you usually know it's a link if it's underlined, right? Or it changes color. That's that's anyway, that's one way to know it's a link. Well, the text that's linked, that's clickable, is called anchor text. Okay. And by the way, I'm writing with a mouse here, so don't judge my handwriting here too harshly. You try writing with a mouse and then let me know how bad <laughs> your handwriting is. Hopefully you can read that. So that's called anchor text, right? So in this case, the anchor text for that link is click here. Or if uh, if somebody wrote down, you know, visit my website and the clickable anchor text in this case is my website that right that right there that's your anchor text right my website so so with that with that context in mind um, you'll you'll notice and, and Google actually looks at this when somebody links to your site right and we're talking about all these different link sources you know forums and news agencies and 
you know, all of these sources we we're talking about earlier, blogs and, and what have you. When they link to your site, they do it in a lot of different ways, right? Sometimes they link a picture to your site. Sometimes they say, hey, click here. And that, that click here is the linkable text. Sometimes it'll say, hey, check out this great website with pet products. And, and the word pet products is going to be linked. Well, so there was a time, and, and there still is, I, I suppose this hasn't really changed, but Google looks at all of your anchor text that's pointing to your site. And they analyze that. And if they see something that looks fishy or looks overused, sometimes they looked at that in a negative way. Because again, like I said, you know, back in the day, people used to pay um, these different uh, systems that would get you 500 quick links. But all 500 of those links would be from crappy sites and the anchor text would all be like click here on every one of them. And, and Google would look at that and say, oh, that seems a little odd. You know, that seems out of the or ordinary or unnatural. And so maybe we'll, we'll penalize that, that website for those links. So the myth that, that is out there is that your anchor text should be varied and, and exactly in the same proportion. So you should have 25% of all of your links being links that say click here. And you should have another 25% of all of your links that say your domain name. Come visit mydomainname.com. And you have another 25% of your links. So anyway, people think that, that you have to have these exact proportions. And, and of course, that we're saying is a myth that it's okay to have lots more click here's than there is having your domain name than there is to have a keyword that's linked over to you. So anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to dwell on that anymore. Um, if that doesn't make sense, we can talk about that more in the future. But that's the myth. The answer to this is when you're getting links, don't don't stress about exact proportions with your anchor text, okay? Um, all right, let's move on to the next one. Unless you want me to stop, if that if that was if that if that was uh, unclear, uh, tell me. Okay. Oh, okay. This is a good one. Never ask for links from other sites, okay? So th there in Google, there's been in times past. They used to penalize people because uh, th they could find out in different ways that you were buying links. So if, if you approached a website and offered to pay for a link, that could cause penalization with your ranking. Um, so, and I used to do this a, a while ago. I used to make money off of this. I had this, this website and it had good domain authority and it had good ranking. So other websites would come to me and say, hey, would you link to us? We'll pay you $100 if you'll link to us for a month or if you'll link, for, link to us for the year. And, and I used to do that. I, I, I made thousands of dollars having other companies pay me just for me to put, put their link on my site. And Google frowned on that. And anyway, later it led to this belief that you can never ask somebody else for a link, which is simply not true. That's the myth. You can ask people for links, but but you don't want to get in the business of paying other other websites for a link ever. So if I own a website, I'm never going to go to another website and say, "Hey, I'll give you 15 bucks if you'll put my link on this this or that page." That that goes against Google's policy. That's not something we want to do. But you can legitimately go ask, you know, somebody else for a link if it's if it makes sense and, and they would want to and, and there's no payment involved, that, that doesn't violate any um, Google rules, okay? Okay, next one. We're moving along because we got to finish up here soon. Okay, um, never get more than one link from the same site, okay? That's a myth. You can get many links from the same site. It used to be thought that if uh, if you go out there and get a link off of Nike somehow, and this is just our example, but if you go to Nike and somehow get a link off of one of their pages, that there's no benefit to getting another link from Nike on another one of their pages, or somehow you get linked from Nike's blog over back onto your site, that there's no benefit to getting another link off of another blog page, and that's just simply not true. More links is better even if it comes from the same website. So don't perpetuate that myth. If you can get several links out of DMOZ or any other site, you ought to do it. Although DMOZ, you'll never get several several links from them. You'll only get one, But so that's a bad example. But other blogs, other news sources, 
right? If I could get two links from CNN or Fox News, I, I would do that. I would get four. I would get 10 if I could. That's never going to hurt me. That can only help me. So saying that you shouldn't get more than one link from one site or one domain doesn't make any sense at all. So keep that in mind. That's that's a myth as well. Last myth that we'll talk about, and then we'll finish up. Um, never get a link from a site outside of your niche. Okay? Meaning, if I sell shoes, and that's my niche... And I have a chance to get a link from a blog that talks about educational toys. Should I get a link from that blog? Is, is, is that going to be a good or a bad thing? Well, there's some out there that say, well, no, you should only get links from blogs that are about sports and athletics and, and shoes and things that are related to my niche. Educational toys is, of course, not related really in any way to shoes. So I shouldn't get that link. Well, that's that's simply not true. There may be a reason to get a link from that site. And not that all of my links should come from unrelated, irrelevant sites, but I guess the point I'm trying to make is it certainly won't hurt you. And so this idea that that you should only search for blogs in your niche, only, only get links from sites or, or forums in your niche, that's just not true. You can get links from other unrelated sites. Like if I could get a link to my site from whitehouse.gov, the White House has nothing to do with what I'm selling, but if somehow I could I could get my link onto one of their pages, that that would be massively influential to my rankings because whitehouse.gov is such a prevalent high domain authority site even though it's not in my niche. Now, how would I do that? I, I don't know. I probably wouldn't be able to do that. But to illustrate the point, that would be a good thing for my site. So, guys, these these are some of the myths that that uh, Rand had brought up, and I and I really agree with these. I, most of them are rooted in some reality, right? And I I think that's true. Anytime a, a myth is perpetuated, not just in in the search engine marketing space, but but anywhere, right? Lots of lies and myths and half truths come from the original of some truth, but but over time it gets distorted and changed and, 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 and isn't true at all. And that's, that's what we want to dispel here. So as you get building links, keep these in mind and, and, and work your link building off of that. And remember, for those of you guys who are newer, we're building links because that will be the difference maker to your site when it comes to getting high rankings. So we want to make sure you do it the right way and that these myths don't distort your link building plan. Okay. All right, so I think that, I think that's probably okay. I know this was kind of a little more of a, a theory type training tonight, but I hope this was helpful to you. Um, well, hopefully we'll get in we'll get into some more hands on stuff here in the coming weeks. Uh, but sometimes we got to cover some theory, and I I thought tonight would be an appropriate time for that. Uh, thanks for coming along, everybody, and then we will see you all next Thursday. Um, use this in your link building building efforts. We'll see you soon. Thanks again.